In the spring of 2009, where apparently I had a good tea, my friend Austin called me. He said, hey Ricky, can you come back home early from Houston? I need your help working on the project. So I said, yeah, sure thing. And so I came back up early and per my personality, I showed up 15 minutes early. And Austin says, oh, you're early. Put on this Al Gore mask. We're not working today. So I put on the Al Gore mask and I get in the car. And then I get out of the car where I see two of my friends bearing gifts of random assortments. I think I was given juice at one point in time. <laughs> and so then the rest of my friends got into the car. I put back on the Al Gore mask, which was blindfolded, by the way. And we start driving. And we keep driving. Like, we drive for a really long time. I have no clue where we're going. And so finally we stopped and we went at this place called Rizzoli's, I believe. And so after we're done eating, I tilt my hat down because they tell me that I need to just keep on walking. And so I keep on walking and I'm walking and I'm walking. And then they say, okay, look up. And I look up and I see the Toy and Action Figure Museum. And I am hysterical. Like, I can't stop laughing. I am so excited. I... I, I the Toy and Action Figure Museum had just a, the most, and it is just, they have every single action figure and toy, I believe, in the world. And my birthday had just passed, so this was my birthday gift. My birthday gift was my friends kidnapping me and driving me to Oklahoma to the Toy and Action Figure Museum. And it is just one of the happiest days of my life. So don't forget to like and favorite this video, and don't forget to leave a video response of you sharing what your best day ever was in a creative means of sorts. Okay, bye.